This is the Matenataran's main manuscript repository. Few visitors are allowed here, and only rarely. This is where the Institute's most ancient manuscripts are preserved. Staff members open the door to the repository's most mysterious room and bring out Todos Roslin's first book, which will be displayed at the Genocide Centenary Exhibition. This is the first manuscript bearing Toros Roslin's signature, dating from 1256. It's a work of incalculable value. The book, a masterwork of Armenian art and literature, will be presented to the public for the first time in a glass showcase on the main display table. Scholars and artists will be able to study its digitized version on a screen. Although this volume, which is a masterpiece of the art of the illuminated manuscript, will be displayed in protective glass, across from it we will have an electronic wall which will give visitors the ability to leave through the pages of the whole book. All of the Matenadaran's exhibition halls are equipped with digital screens. There's also a gallery that features the Matenadaran's complete digital collection. Digitization helps preserve priceless manuscripts while giving visitors the chance to see and research the collection. Our scholars don't have to actually touch the manuscripts, which can be damaged through exposure. Instead, they can research the entirety of our digitized collection. It took the Matenadaran exactly one year to mount the Genocide Centenary Exhibition. Now the galleries are ready for viewing, with an unprecedented exhibition of surviving manuscripts from throughout Western Armenia. This is the title of the exhibition. These works are culled from major centers of manuscript making, which include the monasteries of Akhtamar, Varaga, Lim, and Kututs. These manuscripts would likely have been lost forever if it weren't for Catholicos Georg V. Through his efforts, the manuscripts of the Vaspurakan region were saved and preserved, and eventually came into the possession of the Matenadaran. The museum's curators are well versed in the history of these artifacts. In 1915, Catholicos Georg sent Hovanes Hussian, who was the abbot of Lim, to Vaspurakan on a special mission. Thanks to the heroic, superhuman efforts of Father Husyan, 1,400 manuscripts, as well as 14,000 people, were saved. Prior to the opening of the new wing of the Matenadaran in 2011, it mounted exhibitions in no more than two galleries at a time. Today, it can hold exhibitions in 15 galleries simultaneously, while its collection has grown in leaps and bounds, as has the number of visitors. Thanks to the new wing, we now have 15 galleries, where exhibitions of the highest possible international standards are held. Not all genocide-related artifacts are included in the current exhibition. Some items are kept in the repository, where scholars go for research. The exhibition includes documents showing Ottoman government decisions and orders pertaining to the Armenian Genocide. They were researched by Anahid Astoyan, who has written a book on the subject. Our repository contains the orders and edicts based on which the properties of Armenians were robbed and expropriated. We also have numerous other documents related to the genocide. The exhibition features numerous original books, manuscripts, and photographs. Many of the photos show children who miraculously survived the genocide and later received support from the great poet Hovanes Tumanyan. Hovanes Tumanyan worked tirelessly to help shelter and provide care to genocide orphans at the Echmiadzin orphanage. Witnessing the heart-rendering plight of those emaciated children was to have a serious effect on his health. Apart from leading the Matenadaran's archives department, Ara Khazmalian is the Matenadaran director's museum advisor. Following the Pan-Armenian Declaration regarding commemorations of the Genocide Centenary, he has had meetings with curators and docents to familiarize them with the exhibition. As the Matenadaran is one of Armenia's top tourist destinations, we go to great lengths to ensure that our curators and docents provide visitors with accurate information.
Though extensive, the exhibition represents a tiny proportion of the wealth of documents which speak of the painful pages of Armenian history. The bulk of the trove is kept in the Matanadaran's ultra-modern new wing. This is a state-of-the-art facility, where artifacts are preserved by maintaining optimal lighting, temperature and humidity levels. Under Tamrazian's leadership, the Matanadaran will welcome tens of thousands of visitors. They will marvel at one of the world's most important archives, one that spans 2,000 years. The exhibition, featuring artifacts and documents that cannot be seen Anywhere else, will familiarize the world with Armenian culture, and specifically the Armenian genocide, for an entire year.